<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Calagra Market. I'll wait for a couple of minutes to see if we are live or not. I'll, it'll also allow us to get some more audience in. This is a Sunday edition. Why are we doing a Sunday edition? Because we all know tomorrow there is going to be a lot of people who are profitable on shorts and maybe they'll need to know how to handle their shorts and there will be a lot of people who will be on longs and they'll need to know what to do with their longs. But tomorrow is an important day at the open and I think it's best if we do and Pranav is here. Hi Pranav. Uh, uh, Vibo is saying 70,000 up to touch hoga. Boss, kya pata kisko 70,000 aega ki 70,400 aega, right? So, <clears throat> let's not speculate. But wait, <laughs> what are we all doing in Nifty other than speculate, right? Uh, <laughs> Nihar is asking where cattle is telling us where cattle. Yaar, aisa cattle or kush nahi hai. We should not have any such, you know, <laughs> inclination. Uh, Ali is saying he made a lakh using my videos. No, no, I, you, nobody made money using my videos. They made money because they did the right thing, discipline and all that stuff. So, share market tools and screenshot is saying 17,000. Yeah, 17,000. SGX was uh, only down 1% or something, right? Are you expecting it will go to... Say, I, I don't know, right? Like, all I know is that tomorrow will be a gap down open. Uske aage kya hoga, wo bhagwan jante. So... Let's get started with Calagra market, right? So I'll put two, three important charts. One is the daily chart of Nifty. So the daily chart of Nifty, again, again, it failed to cross the blue line on spot. And on futures, it is significantly below the gap fill and it is below the blue line also, right? We had talked about this gap on futures which will act as a resistance in Nifty spot. We had talked about uh, a spot cup. Yeah, we had talked about this, right? So both of these are indicating that this blue line is a very strong resistance. And if we are to believe, you know, what happened in US on Friday is a precursor to what will happen in Indian markets tomorrow, then I am fairly confident. Yeah, kuch to hai, right? Now we don't know kitna bada hai, lekin yahan pe kuch to hai, right? But here's the more important chart. Nifty weekly last week was this red pattern, but there was a strong rejection week around 17, 350 area, right? So this is a support definitely on a weekly time frame, somewhere around 17, 350. Most important chart, and this is very, very important, is Nifty monthly, right? And it's very difficult to short the market without paying attention to it. So I'll tell you what has happened here, right? This is a bullish engulfing right now this is a green candle after the bullish engulfing so if nifty gives a green candle and a green candle will be formed uh, if the closing of this month is above 17250 right 17243 to be precise so if nifty closes above 17250 this month then this will be a green candle, right? Now, bullish engulfing followed by a green confirmation candle is actually a bullish confirmation. So it might not be a good idea to short into a confirmation of a bullish engulfing. But if Nifty closes below 7240 levels with a negative candle, that's a green candle, sorry, that's a red candle, then this becomes a shooting star. So, on the one hand, so it's essentially a conflict now, right? There's a bullish engulfing. So if it's a green candle, it's a confirmation. It'll, it should go up uh, logically if you follow technical analysis and candlestick patterns. But if this is a red candle with a negative close, then it's a shooting star after a bullish engulfing and it is going to be damn confusing, right? So um, I'll just, so Nifty and Bank Nifty rejected again from the blue trend line. But watch the monthly candle in the next three days august 31st being the monthly close right now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty also rejected from here very clearly then let's look at yeah very good coffee bura like that i should i think i should just buy a trading view because they keep on showing this rocket or maybe i should just show like a rocket insensible right like to ask people to buy but uh, anyway so this is again a rejection in the weekly time frame 
so oh many are watching live cricket india pakistan match you know i don't watch cricket at all probably i should start i mean okay so this is again a rejection right so this is a problem so uh, but bank nifty if you look at it from a monthly time frame this is interesting because this is again a super mega bullish engulfing no matter what bank nifty does if it gives a positive closing and the positive closing is anywhere above 37 um 590 odd which is like probably another 1500 points away that's like four percent then so if bank nifty closes above the open of this month then again this bullish engulfing also gets confirmed but otherwise it's a shooting star right so monthly time frame is not very encouraging of shorting to be honest because if i'm short i'll be very worried seeing this candle on a monthly time frame because this is a clear cut bullish engulfing right so nifty bank nifty charts both on monthly time frame are showing telling two different stories and we have to be careful right now let us look at uh, dollar dollar is the only chart which is clear cut it's a, it's a very une unequivocal very clear very matlab, obvious long on all time frames it is bullish why it's also because 50 dma 100 dma 200 dma everything is below this is a classic long setup right price above 50 dma above 200 dma above 50 uh, 200 dma right and uh, it's always giving strong closes despite what negative uh, rba is trying to do i won't be surprised so what was the all time high 80.20 right i won't be surprised if tomorrow's panic open takes out the all time high so dollar i would always suggest a long at this level so also somebody say ben is saying that tomorrow reliance agm at 2 pm so nifty can be oh my god if reliance gives a bad result then nifty is going to be in very big trouble so anyway mm. sorry sorry i had a very long day woke up like some seven or something and then yeah so next comes option chain option chain um flat around this area but a lot of call selling on friday at 17700 if you so daily action is flat because most strikes were getting built on friday but if you look at the overall september 1st expiry option chain this is a very clear bearish setup because 17700 is very strong not many supports below 17700 7500 has some marginal support but i don't consider it seriously because it's also a round strike i mean round figure 500 multiple pcr of 0.7 is definitely not a bullish sign finally coming to fi data uh, more puts than calls maybe 25 30 percent more puts than calls uh, right but uh, the interesting thing is they bought calls and bought puts on um, friday uh, long futures on friday uh, neutral on stocks on friday but here's one important detail right if you look at fii's oi in the last month it has always been 14000 15000 16000 etc etc it's always been a very high number in 15000 territory right but if you look at the oi now it's really low it's really really low at around 8000 crores which means that they don't have a fundamentally large long india express through nifty futures oi because the nifty futures oi is very low and this number is important because uh, 14000 15000 crore ka oi last month has not been rolled over to this month which means they are not carrying long positions in nifty index exposure right so this is important so overall right so tomorrow it looks like a gap down that i don't have to say everybody has seen in the you know sgx and dow and all that right but the important thing is not about tomorrow's gap down the important thing is what should you do on tomorrow's back gap down so the most important thing here is that see tomorrow right all options will be super expensive why because if there is a gap down happens like you know one person two person gap down if it happens then there will be a huge iv spike right ivs just will just 
go through the roof which means that call options and put options both will become super expensive right so here's one important detail i don't know if i have huh, so much gear right so if 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 gap open if there is a gap open iv will be high meaning calls and puts are both expensive right now there are two scenarios scenario 1 market goes up market goes down in fact let's say three scenarios right market can also stay flat right let me just uh, format we are wrapping wrap okay the third scenario is uh, market stays flat now what will happen in these three scenarios so tomorrow on open oh yeah on open if there's a gap open iv will be high calls and puts are more both going to be expensive no questions there so if market goes up if market goes down if market stays flat and let's write after open after open open after open after open after open all of them are after open right now if scenario 1 plays out what should you do if scenario so if market goes up after open right calls lose delta but lose uh, uh, buy calls lose delta but sorry make money on delta why because you but lose vega right this is one problem which means sell calls lose money on delta but gain vega right now buy puts lose money on delta direction and lose on vega why because iv will fall so i'll i'll just write that also if market goes up after open iv will fall and finally if market goes up after open sell puts will make money on delta and gain on vega so basically if market goes up tomorrow then sell put is the best trade to do right this is the best trade to do no questions if market goes down after open right again iv will rise or stay flat in fact it can also come down a little bit if the fall is steady so buy calls lose money on delta lose on vega right uh flat on vega maybe i won't say lose because it will it will basically vega will lose because it becomes otm that you can refresh your memory a little bit by looking at greeks if you sell calls make money on delta flat on vega right and finally if you if market goes down if you buy puts make money on delta and flat on vega finally this is a shortcut okay it's much more complex than that depending on the scenario but generally as a rule of thumb and if market goes down after open uh if you sell puts lose money on delta uh, flat on me i'll put flat because you will be selling an otm call and yeah i mean depends actually if you buy an otm put buy otm puts i mean i'll just put flat right and so this is thing if market stays flat iv will definitely fall iv is pakka falling so everybody is going to lose 
So all buy options will lose money on Vega. So let's see this, right? Buy calls, lose money on Delta. I mean, no loss really because, you know, everything is flat Delta. So if IV, if market stays flat after open, what will you do? You'll sell an OTM call and sell an OTM put, right? So uh, buy calls, lose money. Obviously you will buy OTM calls, right? Sell calls, make money. Buy puts, lose money. And sell puts, make money. So there is one bet which is a stupid bet in all these scenarios that is buying puts, right? Because if you buy puts unless the market goes down even after a gap down open you won't make money so tomorrow probabilistically right the uh, most likely most sane thing to do if i were you like my trade would be this right i would look at the um, if there is a 200 point gap down tomorrow or you know something like that what i would do is i will wait a little bit before seeing what final direction it takes so basically don't buy puts on open because egg bounce ho gaya so it will lose delta lose vega and you will be in panic you oh my god so much mtm has happened what do i do now right so buying puts on a huge gap do not buy puts on a big gap down open right because if iv if if market stays stable there or if market bounces up suddenly iv will collapse and upper say you lose money on delta also if market goes up right uh, so don't buy calls don't buy puts you know but just see tomorrow what happens on open if on open it gives a bounce and then it gives you a reversal after the bounce to go down again at that point i'll be very tempted to sell calls on upticks right but i won't do anything on open tomorrow my my point is that jobi position lena tha humne uh, uh, friday ko le liya right and now is the time to figure out where we cash out right if you looked at friday's analysis we had said that uh, shorting seems like the way to go on thursday or i mean thursday's analysis was a shorting is the way to go so i'm hoping that you must have shorted thursday so then the way to go now is well, how do we play the shot we can hold this to put it put a trailing stop loss or we can cash out tomorrow now because because we are going to have some you know decent uh, uh, 100 uh, i mean 300 to 200 points capture depending on where you shot it but you can hold it also with a trailing stop loss to see kaha tak jata hai. but whatever you do please don't buy puts on open if it's a huge gap down right i'm not saying tiny gap down if it's a huge gap down please resist the temptation to buy puts because ivs will spike puts will be expensive if you buy and it halkas or bounces back you'll see a huge negative mtm you'll panic and i don't know what will happen so so that is one thing right um so yeah i i hope i mean if you can take a screenshot of this chart it might be of some use we have discussed this earlier also so my my idea is i'll sit on existing shots i'll sell on upticks if there's a negative move uh, shorting calls is my preferred thing because tomorrow ivs will be high and you know uh, there is no point right <laughs> in doing that so uh, so basically let's sit on it and ho see how to play the market because you have done the trade on thursday and you have made enough movement to be profitable with this one trade right so yep that is that brings us to the close of today's analysis so as usual this is not tips recommendations this is just analysis this is just you know uh, how to approach the market in case uh, regardless of how market acts to us remember the most important thing in trading is not about prediction it's about reaction and position size management so on that note i'll take your leave i hope all of you were short on thursday i hope all of you print money tomorrow morning on op open so till we meet again please take care guys and keep your capital safe bye